day, my friends. Welcome back to Making Clouds with Mudflap. Here we are on this fine, wonderful afternoon. Friday, long weekend starting for me here. Got home, just having a fine little coffee to get my afternoon started. Thought I'd sit down with you guys and have my little medication session with you first. Ah, looks like she's raining out there a bit today. The humidity's going to break. That'll be nice for us. But we're going to start off today getting into some of this fine, fine Mango Dream Rosin from Gold River Rosin. Now I got this uh, container from them. It's like a compact for the makeup, except of course it's got the wonderful medicine in it. So we're just going to cut this open because everything comes so nicely sealed. All right, this is my first one of these containers, so I'm not totally sure. Oh my goodness the smell coming off this now this mango mango dream rosin was made at 200 degrees temperature lower than the normal rosin so it's a lot buttery more buttery a lot more flavor um, of course the yield would be a little bit less because of the lower temperature but man when I had a little taste of it before I got it it was something else the turps were just flying off of it so the smell is intense. I will give you a close-up of this right here. Pretty amazing looking stuff. It doesn't look like the normal rosin with that... Uh, buttery kind of look to it but he said when it came out of the press it was buttery like that already it didn't butter up it just was that kind of product so I'm really looking in uh, looking forward to getting some of this into me <sighs> been needing a puff for a little while but been cleaning the tubes and the hydro tubes here and getting things ready so we're long overdue for our medication session I was gonna have a beer beer with you oh and this comes up like a butter too But I decided I was going to have one of those a little bit later. Sun's supposed to be coming out in a little bit, so I thought we'd try. Get a coffee down. I'm always up for a nice coffee. I'll get some of this rosin into us. I've had this for about a week, but I've been saving it to, to taste it with you guys. So, not that I needed it. I had a little bit of shatter left of the northern lights. That I, oh, no, sorry, I was on the headband shatter. Got rid of that, finished that up. It was time to open this stuff up. Really, really different looking stuff. I've never seen uh, a rosin that's buttered up like this. But I can imagine. It's almost like a sugar wax. This is going to be a big one because it's just sticking like heck. Alright. The smell off this. Yeah, so I like this, these containers. Um, they have the silicone top and bottom, but the silicone bottom comes out of here. Out of here, So if you ever need to clean it or whatever, or take it out. But I like the fact that uh, it's flat like that, not like some of the balls. And Yeah. The wife to put it in her uh, purse and they'll think it's makeup. It's in blush or whatever. Pretty darn uh, dark blush, but hey. All right. Get this cord over here. All right, my friends, let's try one of these fine Mangle Dream Remarkable Rosins. It's ridiculous, I'm sure, the taste, because the smell coming off it is just freaking phenomenal. I know I haven't tried it in the Evo, obviously. It was just tried on a D-nail last time, so this, I'm sure, will be more flavorful than anything. Cheers, my friends. Oh, the smell coming off it now is just intense. I can feel that right away. 
That is some powerful medicine. <coughs> oh, the taste is just freaking ridiculous on that. Wow. Oh, I'm glad I waited for that. That feels good. It kind of wants to rip the back of my throat. Not rip, but tickle the back of my throat. It's not ripping at all. <coughs> That's nice. Wow. Yeah, so I don't have a lot of stuff to throw in here today to show you about uh, things that we've done recently. Um, we did have one of our dinner party nights. The uh, I guess it was a couple months ago when I wasn't filming ever anything. Uh, I was in the middle of my little phase of not doing a whole lot. And uh, we had, uh, instead of a pottery night, we had a paint night where we met at the bar in London. And we, we had a nice dinner. And then at 7 o'clock we walked to the back and there was... 20 some odd people It'd be a great place for guys if they wanted to meet uh, ladies uh, especially older ladies well, I guess they were from 25 to 60 there anyways the only four guys were the four guys from our group and all the rest were women um, so we got to paint um, a sunset and they kind of walk you through it I think it was like three hours it wasn't too bad we had a break halfway between then I got to go out and smoke a big fatty um, but uh, yeah it was a fun night so I'm gonna throw in a couple pictures here of that uh, First, I'll throw in the, the Karen and Mines picture. You can see that she's much more talented with the paints than I am. But, I, you know, I wasn't too unhappy with how mine turned out, just like my mug. They are ugly, but, hey, so am I. So kind of seems to fit with the purpose or fit with the theme, should I say. Anyways, check this out uh, here, and I'll be back. Yeah, like I said, there wasn't any video taken that night, but Karen did have her camera out and took some pictures, so it's kind of nice to have those to show you, too. Anyways, we're going to do another fine rip of this rosin because I'm feeling just wonderful. This one I use, this hydro tube I use for cannabis, and the smaller one I use for my concentrates in these wonderful glass nails because of the flavor it seems to enhance in the smaller tube. But cheers, my friend. It's the thing I love about this Evo too. The smallest of dabs. You put the smallest of dabs in there. You put too much, they ride up the tubes anyways as it gets hot, so <coughs> sometimes it's good just to put the ninja dabs in there. Not just that, it makes the material go a little bit longer, uh, longer, farther. More hits. Uh, I'm not one. As you know, if you've watched the channel, I'm not one for ridiculously big hits or doing a whole lot at once unless it's my Christmas theme or whatever. Not the uh, time I'll let loose and really get baked. But even when I'm sitting around uh, up here, I'll have two of these baskets every 45 minutes or, or to an hour or so. And those baskets only hold an eighth of a teaspoon. So it's really not a lot of material that we go through. <coughs> constantly stay medicated all as much as we can especially after work capsules and wonderful things to get you through the day because uh, if you are having to use it medically 
you wouldn't stop taking a prescription during the day, so why would you stop taking your medicine during the day? All right, we're gonna do this last rip with you. Actually, no, we're gonna do that in a second. I got one last thing I wanna to talk to you about here. The wonderful front page of the London Free Press today. Yep, yeah. below it, on the bottom, is a place for you to get medical cannabis. To go, if you need a doctor for medical marijuana, Body Stream, which is a place that I used to go to, but they changed the name before they were owned by some one of the Tweed or something, now they're owned by somebody else, so it's a different name. And that cannabis clinic, Canadian Cannabis Clinic, has moved to another place in the town, so that's not what I was going to show you on here. I was showing you that potentially deadly mix. Basically, they're worried about all the opiate uh, problems and overdoses that have been happening in town recently and at the jail, and it's due to the fentanyl that's being mixed with uh, the heroin and cocaine. And now, the new villain in the opioid drug crisis sweeping Canada, often with deadly results, fentanyl is now showing up in London, added into other drugs, including marijuana, the authorities are wearing, warning. That's right, fear of fucking mongering at its finest. Fentanyl and marijuana. Give me a fucking break. Just before they decide to uh, legalize it and make it recreational use uh, possible, they want to scare people. It's just freaking incredible. Um, just like when I heard the story of skeptical, this is like a, a myth that was portrayed in the States a while ago, and now they're bringing it here. Um, it says, finding fentanyl in drugs like marijuana means that people who think they are doing something minor may end up dying of overdose. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't heard of anybody dying from smoking marijuana, even if it was supposedly laced with fentanyl, which... None has ever been found in it that I've ever heard of that they've tested marijuana or anything like that that's had freaking fentanyl in it, but hey, you just don't know. Um, it says here, urine tests conducted on people who reported using only heroin or smoking pot tested positive for the powerful drug. The London Area's Public Health Office reported Thursday. Okay, so here's my problem with that. They've tested these people, obviously, because for some reason they had to. And maybe this person wasn't supposed to be having that stuff in their system. Like, no, I only smoke pot. So let's believe that they're not lying and assume that the fentanyl was put into their cannabis. Holy fuck. Spreading it as thick as they fucking can. Excuse my language, but this one just... Uh, I seen it on the news yesterday, but I didn't think they'd put it on the front of the newspaper. But yeah, that just burned my ass. The urine tests were run this week at the Addiction Services of Thames Valley London Treatment Clinic. So yes, these people are at addiction centers anyways. And I'm not saying there's anything freaking wrong with it. I'm hoping they're using cannabis to get off of their other addictions. And maybe they're weaned down on whatever they're taking and, and getting to that point of not using. But still, don't blame the cannabis for your freaking other problems that you don't want to tell them about. Because you're just making it worse for other people that are trying to show that this drug is a benefit Anyways, the specter that the potentially deadly fentanyl is being cut into other street drugs contaminating even marijuana should be an extreme wake-up call to those who use illegal drugs without knowing what it might contain. Officials with the Health Unit and the Addiction Treatment Services, the Mental Health Association, and London Police all warn of this possibility. Now, come on. I, I can't even read any more of it. That's just bullcrap. But you know what? People that don't know are going to believe something like that and they read in the paper instead of listening to people who are using cannabis responsibly and medically and hearing the wonders that it does. It takes a lot to get through to those people and they just have that typical lazy stoner um, picture of what us people are like and sometimes it'll never change it. Or drug addicts. That's the one that really gets me. You're on drugs. Try some of those opiates and tell me you're, on, you're not on drugs. All right, let's look at this last wonderful rosin rip into us. And call her an afternoon. As it looks like the sun might be popping out there. Cheers, my friends.
That is some delicious damn stuff. <coughs> Three little, little taps like that, and we are feeling extremely well medicated. And that's what it's all about. Thank you, Evo. Thank you, my friends. I really appreciate you coming out and hanging out with me on this long weekend here in Canada anyways. Got Monday off, so we'll see what kind of adventures we can get into. They're putting a the fence up next door. Uh, we got Rib Fest this weekend in London. Uh, there's Harbor Fest in Port Stanley, so who knows where we'll end up hiding out. Hopefully uh, get out. This weather's supposed to be nice and enjoying this uh, second last long weekend of the summer. All right, my friends. Take care. Be well. Be proud of your clothes.